All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about the number one chat bot in the entire universe. Okay, that, that may be an exaggeration. There's a lot of good ones, but this one is my favorite, and I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to customize it just for your stream. All right, and before we jump into the rest of this video, I want to remind you guys I stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. I'm live every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so swing by any of those days. Let me know uh, if you have any questions about this video or other videos I've done in the chat over there at Twitch, or you can also just uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I'll try to, try to answer your question as best I can. But with that being said, today, guys, we are going to jump in and check out the best chat bot for Twitch, and this is my absolute favorite chat bot, so... I'm going to show you guys how it works. First thing we're going to do, jump over into the screen. There we go. Okay, so no surprise if you've watched my other videos, but guys, Stream Elements is my favorite chat bot. Uh, it's my favorite streaming platform. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take you in and show you how this thing works, and then we're going to you know, talk about how to set it up and customize it. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to, you're going to want to, you know, set up your stream elements platform. If you've never logged in before, it's going to ask you to log in with your Twitch account. Make sure you're already logged in on your Twitch account so that you can click connect to Twitch. And once you do that, um, it was going to take you into your dashboard. Uh, here's our dashboard. And obviously I've blurred out all the, you know, statistic information and that sort of thing. But over here on the right side, you'll see where it says bot settings. This is where you're going to want to connect the bot to your twitch account so you're gonna hit uh you're gonna hit I, I can't remember what it used to be this is mine i'm already part of the channel but i think it's um i think it's like join channel or or something like that once you've done that go over here to the left side and let me go ahead and remove my my webcam here okay webcam is gone scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this section called bot it's got a couple of different features we're going to be talking about the chat commands and we're going to be talking about timers today so let's go ahead and go over to chat commands i'm going to show you that first and as we jump into the chat command section, you'll see I got a bunch of chat commands set up. I use this thing all the time. It's absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and bring my uh, webcam back on here. You got to see my beautiful face, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so we're in the chat commands. And first thing we want to do is check out the default commands up here. So go ahead and click on default commands. And uh, you'll actually notice that, that Stream Elements has set up a few commands that people use on a regular basis. So for instance, one of those would be um, the follow age command right here. They've already got a follow age command set up. You can just make sure it's turned on. This little toggle turns things off and on. Blue is on, gray is off. And uh, so follow age is already set up and that's where people can see how long they've been following your channel. Also a few other ones that are already set up like um, exclamation point tip. Whenever you whenever you connect your uh, your you know your your PayPal and stuff to your Stream Elements platform, they've already got a tip one set up for you. They even have an uptime is already set up. So a bunch of these are already set up. Scroll through here, make sure that you know some of the ones that you're looking for aren't already set up because if they are, you will not have to make a custom command for them. You can just make sure that they're turned on. Uh, but let's say that the what you're looking for is not on this list. You want something very specific. We're gonna go to custom commands. Custom commands is how we're gonna set up. Uh, anything that's not already on that default list and to do that we're going to go over here to the top right hand cor corner and click new command when we do that it's going to bring up our uh, template you can either select a template that's pre-made off of here so if you want to bring in you know uh, like what game you're playing or how many followers or subs you have things like that you can use these templates here or you can do a brand new command and we're going to do a brand new command so right here where it says command uh, we're going to type in it says what triggers the response we're gonna we're gonna say test test is gonna trigger the response for us today so we're gonna use that one we want this command to be something that anybody can use so we're gonna set it to everyone you can set up commands that are specific to you know subscribers only or vips moderators you know just you the broadcaster but today it's gonna be an everyone command and our response is gonna be this test oops gotta spell it correctly is What's the word I'm looking for? Successful. Exclamation point. There we go. All right. So this is how we'd set up a command. And if we hit submit, boom, it's new. It's a brand new command right over here. Exclamation point test. Uh, there's a global cooldown, which is automatically set. I'll show you how to adjust those here in a minute. But if we bring open our Twitch chat right over here. Oh, wow. You can see it. My people have already been in my Twitch chat for a while. If I go in here and I click test, exclamation point test boom this test is successful it returns back the command that we were looking for and that's what we set 
So that's the basic premise of this chatbot, but there's more, there's more. So let's say that we go back over here and we want that test command. We don't want to cool down at all. We want people to be able to use that as much as they want. We're going to go over here and click on this little pin icon right here. Don't click this one or it will, it will delete it. It'll take it away forever. So it's gone. Uh, click the pin icon and we're going to hit show advanced. When we hit show advanced, it's going to bring us down to all of this cool stuff down here. So for instance, we could make this command cost points from our, our stream elements point system. So we could do that. We have it set to zero. Also, you can set the command to either say it in the chat or it can reply to the person. When you do reply, it's actually going to at that person and reply to them. Or you can set it to whisper and it can whisper that person directly without putting a response in the chat. Um, I usually keep it on say, but uh, I may actually start changing it over to, to reply to people. So when they ask, it'll it'll actually at them and make it stand out. Um, down here, you can able, uh, enable the command when stream is either offline, online, or both. Also, you can hide the command from public pages if you would like. Hiding the command from public pages basically just means that people, whenever they go to your exclamation point commands command and they look at all the list of your commands, they won't see it on there. Um, then you can also change the cooldown. So we're going to change the cooldown to zero. Uh, and a cooldown is basically when somebody uses the command, it will prevent them from using the command again for a set number of seconds. So we, if we set it to zero, people can use the command over and over and over again. If we set it to, uh, you know, 60, then people won't be able to use that command for another 60 seconds or one minute. You know what I'm saying? The user cooldown is for the person who used it. The global cooldown is like if one person uses it, if you change that to 30, then it's going to be 30 seconds before anybody can use it again. We're going to put it to zero. And then we can also do a couple of other really fun things right here. We can make different words trigger this command without needing to use the exclamation point. So for instance, if we wanted it to be uh, the word uh, working, right? We could make working one of the keywords. Uh, we could also go down here and if we wanted to make the command alias or a different exclamation point, we could also do exclamation point testing. We can make testing also work and we could put that down there. Boom. There we go. And now once I type in the word, I hit enter and it, you'll know it's added whenever it adds it to this gray bubble right here. And uh, so you can delete words that you don't want by clicking that X. But remember, command keywords are just words that don't need an exclamation mark. You can just anytime that word is typed in the chat, it will return this response that we're setting up. The command aliases are if you want multiple, you know, exclamation points to work for the same thing. So for instance, like let's say you want exclamation point YouTube to return a link to your YouTube channel, but you also want ex exclamation point YT to return that same link. Then you could put, you know, exclamation point YT as an alternate alias for that command. Uh, once we have those things in there, we're going to hit submit. It's going to add them. And then if we go back over to our, um, our chat, come right here and we can hit, we can hit exclamation point working. And this test is successful or uh, exclamation point testing. This test is successful. We can also type in the word uh, working by itself. This test is successful. And so these are all ways that you can trigger the same exact command. But what if we want to take it a step further? And it looks like I've got a couple people in the chat right now, even though I'm offline. What if we want to, um, you know, enhance this? What if we want a really next level command, right? Well, you have over here, you have variables and variables. If you click on that section, you'll go over here and it's going to give you the uh, command code, so to speak, for variables that you can put in your your uh, your custom commands. So for instance, um, like they show us right here, the variable uh, dollar sign and then use, user in the brackets right there. If you use that, for instance, if I uh, if I copy that and I go over to custom commands and I hit edit right here, I can say um, this test is successful and then I can paste in the user right there. And if I hit submit, now when I go over to the chat, now when I go over to the chat and I type in the word working, it's going to come back and say, this test is successful, Eagle Garrett, right? And it's going to say my name or the name of the user who actually input that uh, command originally, the word working or exclamation point test. And so what we can do is for with the variables, 
we can go in and we can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, displays lowercase name, so it can show somebody's name in all lower cases. So there's just all these different variables. What you have to do is you kind of have to sift through here and look and say, okay, what uh, what do I want to do? You know, um, I have a command set up right now, which I'll show you guys here in just a minute. But I use the random pick option. And what random pick does is that I can actually customize it between these little, uh, see these little apostrophes up here? Between those apostrophes, I can randomize the answer that the command brings. And we could use that random pick under the test, and we could say, uh, this test is, uh, this test is successful, Eagle Garrett, um, you are a, and then we could, we could go over, uh, let's go ahead and hit submit. We're going to go get our variable command random pick here random pick we're going to I'm going to copy this one I'm going to go over to uh, our custom command here and we're going to go to test edit you are a I'm going to paste it in and then first random pick is going to be uh, legend champ and uh VIP, right? VIP. And so I'm going to delete that space there between the exclamation mark and the end of that. And we're going to hit submit. And now when I go over to the chat, check this out, you guys. When I go over to the chat at this point, I'm going to type in test. And it says, this test is successful, Eagle Garrett. You are a legend. And it randomly picks what it says back to, uh, to me. So it could say legend one time, and then I could say the word working. And it's going to come back and say, you are a VIP. You see that? So it changes its response with that variable command. So what we're doing today, guys, is uh, we're looking at the fact that you can customize these commands however you want using a huge assortment of variable commands. And you can get really intricate, intricate with this. You can come in and, uh, for instance, you can do like a, a deaths counter or a win counter. And uh, you can set it up to where every time you hit a button on your stream deck, so to speak, uh, or you type in a certain command, then it will it'll hit that command and it'll it'll add one to a counter that you have for the amount of wins you get in Fortnite or Apex Legends or something like that. So, with that being said, you guys um, use these variable commands to really start to customize your uh, you know your your command list and your chat bot itself. Um, I have things set up for you know rules whenever we play custom games in Fortnite. Uh, people can type in a command to get the code that we have. They can uh, type in a command to get my creator code if they want. Uh, we even added one where if somebody types in exclamation point shrug, it literally just replies back with this little this little guy right here. You can see if I go over here and type in uh, shrug, boom, there it is. The guy is shrugging in the chat and everybody right now that's in my chat is like, what the heck is going on? I'll have to tell them, guys, hold on. Guys, sorry for the randomness. I'm recording a video. Say hi to YouTube. Wait for it, wait for it. Let's see if they say hi to YouTube right now. I'm offline right now, by the way. <laughs> I'm offline right now, by the way. You all still there? <laughs> he said, you're awesome, Eagle, and I just shrugged at him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. Oh, look, look, Adrian's still here. Dude. <laughs> All right, there we go. He said, hi. He's telling you guys hi. You can return back commands using variables and really make it intricate. Uh, so definitely check this out guys. The other thing I wanted to cover today was timers And if you go over here to the bottom left hand corner under the chatbot commands take away my uh, webcam there go under timers You can also set up things to pop up in your chat in uh, You know very varied time allotments. Okay, I'm back uh, So if you go over here for instance, I've got one for YouTube every 70 minutes I have it set to where it will come back and it will put this in the chat. It'll say upgrade your entertainment and subscribe to Eagle Garrett's YouTube channel with a link to my channel. Um, and uh, you can you can obviously go in and edit or you can add your own. If we do a timer, we can put in the name of the timer here or the message that it brings back. Uh, on this one, we're going to say test 
and then we're gonna say new message uh testing things out all right and then the interval interval on this one's gonna be every one minute and when it's offline it's gonna be every one minute and you can check you can choose how many lines that you want it to be uh we want this to happen every one minute without any lines of, of chat or it won't trigger unless you know let's say we put five lines of chat there's got to be at least five lines of chat five different posts in the chat before it'll trigger this command um for today's test sake i'm going to put that to one hold on put that to one put that to zero and then hit submit and now if we go over to the chat and we look at it looks like adrian is testing uh testing things out for us as well uh but we'll wait for it and, and stream elements should automatically automatically come back with our new our new timer command so here in a minute let's see if it will pop up okay there we go you see stream elements came in we didn't type anything in here and it says testing things out it was an automatic reply it came after one minute of uh of setting it up so every one minute until i turn it off this is going to say testing things out and just pop itself into the chat so uh, to do that, all you guys got to do is go over to the timers, set your timer however you want it. The newest ones show up at the bottom here. We obviously don't want this to keep showing up, so we're going to delete it and delete. There we go. And it's gone. Uh, but guys, set up timers. This can be like randomized things like, hey, follow me on, on Twitter or subscribe to me on YouTube. So guys, that is the chat bot for stream elements. I hope this video has been helpful. You basically do what we just did over and over again for each command that you want to add. Guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it if you want notifications of when my videos go live. And uh, guys, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I do stream, like I said, live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. Come by, hang out. Let me know uh, if you have any questions. Also, guys, I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we're on Discord. Our links for all this stuff will be in the description. Facebook, all that good stuff. So come check it out, guys. Ch come check it out. <laughs> guys, have a great day. Rock on. Peace out. God bless. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Last but not least, caca. Yeah, dude, that sounds good, man. No stream sniping. Remember. Remember, sa. Wasn't too bad. Nice, 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 nice. Somebody clipped that. I shot him right in midair. Did anybody see that?